Hello YouTube, my name is Jeremiah James, I'm a singer-songwriter, and today I'm going to show you how to transpose a song to fit your voice. We're going to use Yesterday by the Beatles as an example. Uh, the key of Yesterday is F, and the way the Beatles play it, they have their guitar tuned down a full step. Now, most of my repertoire is in standard tuning, so I just want to keep my guitar standard tuned, and I found a different chord progression that fits my voice better. Um, so if I wanted to keep my guitar in standard tuning, I'd have to play uh, in the key of G. And I'm going to show you how it sounds kind of squeezed with my voice here. So it's like... Yesterday, all my troubles seem... So I've either got to uh, hit it really nasally in that high note there. All my troubles seem... Or flip into falsetto like I just did right there. Um, but I don't want to do that. I want to hit all the notes in full voice. So I decided to transpose the song into the key of D. And now it sounds like this. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. And now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. All right, so going from the key of G down to the key of D, how many half steps have I shifted the key down? Um, it went from G to G flat, to F, to E, to E flat, to D, and that's five half steps. So that's a pretty big key shift and gave me a lot of space to work with for my vocal range, which is why I was able to hit those notes a little more comfortably in my full voice. So uh, you can do the same thing with just about any song, and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, let's get to what we're here for, which is to understand how to transpose a song. So right here I have written out the 12 musical notes that you can possibly have within an octave. Uh, we've got A all the way through G sharp, walking through half steps, and if you count those out, you'll see that there are 12. B flat and A sharp are enharmonic tones. Those are two different names for the same note, and they really only matter for notation when you're figuring out what key you're in, uh, which name to use. So other than that, it's not a big deal. The original key of yesterday is G major, for a major key, that means we're going to have the first chord be major, second minor, third minor, fourth major, fifth major, sixth minor, seventh diminished. Now that is just a general rule. Rules were made to be broken, and you'll see that the Beatles actually break this rule. Okay, following that structure, our given palette of notes would be G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished. The yesterday chord progression is a 1 major, 7 minor, 3 minor 7, 6 minor, 6 minor 7, 4 major, 5 7. In the key of G, that gives us G, F sharp minor, B7, E minor, E minor 7, C, D7. Now the key to transpose, we want to go from G to D. How do we get there? We walk down. So we go one, two, three, four, five half steps to get to D. Okay? So now let's do the same thing and figure out what F sharp minor would become. F sharp minor, we walk down one, two, three, four, five. We get a C sharp minor. For B, B7, we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, end up with an F sharp major seven. Now I want you to do the same thing for E minor, E minor seven, C, and D7. And then we'll check our answers here in just a moment. So I'll give you guys a few seconds. Pause the video maybe. I'm about to reveal the answers. Okay, so that's what the answers are. And uh, you can apply that same method for transposing to any key. Say you wanted to go from D to C. That would be walking down two half steps. And the next chord, say, is a F. Then you would just walk down two half steps and you would know that you have a D-sharp chord. So hopefully this is helping you. I'm going to show you what those chords look like again on uh, guitar here. All right, and just to illustrate those chords again here, we've got the original key, G, F-sharp minor, B7, E minor, E minor 7, C, and D7. Okay, now we shift that to the key of D. D, C sharp minor, F sharp seven, B minor, B minor seven, uh, 
G and then A7 back to D. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it helped. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you wanna become a part of my journey and see the music that I'm making, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Jeremiah underscore James underscore music.